Hey guys, this is Max. Welcome to another video about AQ. Now, I've been doing this kind of every week now, um, and every week we seem to kind of either stay in the top five or just do some progression. Uh, last week was a very interesting week because we had some kind of issues and mistakes, uh, but we were still able to get into the top four, uh, top five. Now this week, it's interesting, uh, we're number three. And of course, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about that as we kind of go glory shopping, because uh, this time I mentioned in the stream that I wanted to do the entire glory shopping so I wouldn't forget when it comes to using up my glory, because that's happened twice already. Um, and it has to do with schedule and my personal life stuff. But guys, we're number three, as you can see, relax. It's number three in the entire world of alliances for this game of MCOC. Uh, top five, of course. Um, really, when it comes to rank rewards, you, you sweet spots two and five. Um, you know, even that top ten is really good. So we're gonna open these crystals. Of course, there's three of them. But the number one spot, uh, the number one placement alliance, has kind of been consistent. Uh, and why? Now you're missing an alliance if you weren't kind of following the top ten, the top five. One of the alliances that's missing there, I wanted to actually reference them, is Asgard. So let's actually go and take a look at their alliance just picked on uh, Octo Monkey. Uh, so he's at 12.726 prestige himself. Um, so when it comes to the alliance, um, it looks like they're missing a player currently, but their prestige as an alliance is 12.076. So um, they, uh, 12.076. So actually, let's just make reference to that in our prestige when it comes to relax. Um, let's take a so just uh, prestige alone, missing a player of only having 29 members, they still have a higher prestige than we do. So why are they not in the top five? Why are they not in the, um, you know, one of the top accounts? Now, um, I took a chance. I took a not chance. I took a look earlier before recording this video, and just just peeked into some of the accounts. Of course, we all know how well, and he, I believe. Uh, I didn't check every single player, uh, but I want to say of the few people that I did check, uh, I believe he's the highest in the entire lines at 13.117 uh, prestige. He's over 13. Um, and then just to give you kind of, we chose Octo Monkey to kind of open the alliance at 12.7. But look at his roster, a lot of rank threes when it comes to like the top, possibly, I'm sure the top five, it has to be all rank threes, but not everybody is in the same boat. So let me just kind of open up a couple of players. See, two rank threes, a rank two, and a rank five. Uh, five star still in the top four champions. Now his prestige or her prestige, 11.5. Um, we have Pep 1000, everybody knows Pep. Um, we have uh, Maladar at 11.1 uh, with a Thor and a rank two. So, so not everybody is on the same situation where they have in this alliance specifically where they have like a nice like peps accounts really nice day uh he's been fortunate to choose some of the best champions out there to rank three um so he's at 12.58 so um why are they not in the top five let's kind of open rewards and talk and discuss just a little bit about that is because they're partaking um on a boycott that's going on currently in game um just to kind of voice their thoughts now i did reach out to one of the officers in asgard and kind of just i didn't want to assume much when it comes to making this video but i still wanted to reference kind of my thoughts when it comes to what they're doing um you know why are they doing it um so when i uh, reached out to him so we'll claim this and we're actually going to go and open those crystals um so when i reached out to him i wanted to ask, one of the things i wanted to know was how do you get 30 people on board to not play the game when it comes to aq kind of do a i believe it's like a log out or just not not be competitive and one of the reasons why like i, I mentioned this or i make reference to this is like how do you get 30 people to or 29 people in the case because it looks like it was 29 all agree on this is because in game there's only a few areas in the game we have you know, questing. We have competitive areas like AQ, AW, uh, incursions, um, leaderboards, legend leaderboards. I mean, competitive areas in game when it comes to this game, MCOC. And those areas are um, just kind of the only area in game that you can kind of say, hey, you know what? 
Um, let us say, let's say it's AW. We organize ourselves, we strategize, we, we worked as a team, and we beat this other alliance. So we're in the top 10, the top five, you know. Uh, we're in masters, or kind of like AQ. Um, we gathered ourselves, did the rank ups, the appropriate rank ups for the benefit of the alliance. Um, like, in our reference to my account when it comes to that, um, you know, um, for prestige and as an alliance, we were able to get in the top 10, the top 20, uh, let's say the top five. Um, ideally, Asgard should be top five because of their prestige. Sweet. We form a T5 basic. And yes, yeah, a mutant. So we need more of those catalysts, as many as we can get. So we got four left. Okay. So um, when it comes to the mountain, and this is why I want to reference what they're doing and kind of what's behind it, at least. And that, I, I can't speak on their kind of motives and behind kind of what they're doing because I'm not part of that alliance. Um, but I can speak kind of like on my side, like what I kind of view from Relax, from me, from being, uh, let's just, we took a look at to their prestige, some of the top players, some of the not top players in the Asgard Alliance. But just to do a comparison, my account's at 12.6. Um, some of the rank ups that I have, rank threes, of course, you know, Gilly, she's an awesome champion. I love her. Captain uh, Marvel, we have Thing. Uh, some of the best champions I personally consider, uh, and this is why they're rank three. But we also have a prestige champion like a Thor, um, you know, to bump up the prestige. And that's another video I want to make when it comes to why I did that. Um, oops, now we're going to go, go, we're going to go. So we open crystals, we're going to go glory shopping now. So, um, you know, it, it's. So I asked him, I was like, how, how do you convince 30 people to get on board to not play AQ? And one of the reasons why I'm kind of shocked and kind of like, in a way, kind of like, you know, hey, they're doing something. And I, I personally agree on anybody, anybody, whatever it is, whatever alliance you're in, if you feel unfair, if you feel something is not right and, and you want to kind of voice your voice and maybe this is a source of them voicing uh their concerns when it comes to the game and not logging in and just not participating in a, in a competitive area of the game even though it's a week i don't know if they're going to continue for i didn't that i didn't ask if they're going to continue with this uh but when it comes to a week you know it's it, it might not be as impactful as you think but as you look at my account just look at the amount of glory i just was able to purchase of course this is because of a commute of accumulated glory and I haven't bought anything for the last two weeks, but that's kind of my fault. But ultimately, the amount of glory you get, it formed me 1T, uh, 1T2 alpha. Fully formed, I can go and actually get more to kind of create the second one. But just think about the game. Kabam, MCOC is selling T2 alphas for like 50 bucks, 30 bucks. So if you compare that in cash value, you're like, and you know, you're competitive in one of the top five alliances, top 10 alliances. Um, you know, it's saving you cash, you know, kind of with when it comes to these rewards, these T5 basics, those crystals from map seven, that you just saw me open. It's saving you some cash because you've already kind of front loaded the cash when it comes to the expenses in game. So and what I mean by that is like those accounts that we just kind of looked at, some of those accounts have spent multiple thousands of dollars. So we're not, it's just not a simple like five grand when it comes to the five years of playing the game. They they possibly are looking at five grand within like two weeks. Um, and I think we saw a reference of Cowell when, you know, I think when he had the YouTube is how much money he put in the gifting event just to get some of those rewards. So some of these accounts in that alliance have been spent, you know, multiple thousands of dollars. So when you look at the game, and this is why I kind of wanted to make this video is you kind of have to acknowledge the fact that they are putting a lot of money behind the game. Like I'm not putting fifty thousand uh, dollars in one month. You know, when it comes to the game, uh, I rather go out and uh, take a trip, buy a car, um, you know, do something nice uh, for fifty thousand dollars in one month. Uh, but there, the, some of those players out there are doing that, you know, and they're maybe maybe not 50 as like how well or higher. I think it was like $70,000, but maybe they're doing like five grand a week. Um, so when you're spending that much money to keep up the prestige race, because it's competitive when it comes to the prestige race, um, and then you take a break and the expectations of those, those rewards are not, you know, you don't get them. It's kind of like, hey, man, I just bought 
you know, I just invested my money into this and I expect these rewards weekly um, and we don't get it. That, that's kind of was, was my idea when I asked him about how did you get 30 people or 29 people to agree with you? Um, he said, yeah, most of them were on board. Um, so let's actually buy this. Let's buy two. Uh, he said most of them were on, oh man, we have 10,000 glory. <laughs> so much glory. Let's buy another one. So he said most of them were on board. Um, some of them obviously weren't, you know, kind of like didn't agree with, hey, why do I have to take a week? And that's kind of what I'm talking about. You put into the game so much money that you're like, dude, you know, I bought crystals for this doom that I just ranked up for the Alliance last week, two weeks ago, before this whole boycott situation was going on. And I did the rank up knowing that, hey, we're shooting for the top five. It's really competitive, guys, when it comes to the top five races. Um, so they, they kind of, I can see myself saying, hey, why do we need to, you know, let's say I'm not 100% on the boycott and I'm like, dude, why do I need to log out? Like, I know I'm part of the alliance. That would be kind of maybe a concern of mine. Um, so I, that's kind of one of the reasons I, I kind of reached out to him and asked about that. Um, so... Uh, I should be able to claim the glory now because it doesn't put this off so that of course because they took the week off You know, and I don't know. I think if they're gonna come back I, I believe they should come back and play the game, you know the way they do uh, Play eight, every eight, every day of AQ map 7 because one thing happens too and I don't want this to happen when it comes to gaming um, You the less you play the game the more you start realizing like ah uh, I don't really need to play the game. I don't really need to log out. And uh, when it comes to those big a lot, big accounts, you know, obviously I'm not saying they 100% feed the game when it comes to like the revenue, what keeps the game active, but there are a big, big um, area. They're, they're big when it comes to ha how we keep the lights on when it comes to Kabam itself. So I don't want them to be like, hey, you know what, that first that week of AQ, no AQ, map 7, it was not that bad. Um, it didn't really affect me when it comes to rewards. You know, I can go out and buy them again when it comes to like a $50 offer. Or we're, we're going to get them next week and don't worry about it. But rather than stay competitive, stay uh, going for the top five because that's the fun part of the game too as well. But, you know, I don't, I don't want that player or the guy or the girl behind the account saying, hey, you know what, well, yeah. I found I actually found this other game and you know I just while I was waiting for um, you know I'm not being competitive not really logging in into the game I found this other game and it's actually pretty cool I just spent like 500 bucks on it and I like it so you know then what happens is some of that cash goes towards that game it's just um, it's kind of like a biz uh, my point of view when it comes to like business and MCOC you know but guys um, we went AQ shopping in the glory store uh, with all well, we went shopping in the glory store with all the AQ rewards. So we <laughs> actually look at that zero out of fifteen when it comes to T one alphas. I've we've been doing a lot of rank ups, so we're gonna just go ahead and acquire four there. Um, I think for now, let's take a look. We're still sitting at ten thousand guys. We need to buy more stuff. What can we get? Um, I hardly use these. Do I use these one time? So I'll just buy one. Um, I kind of want to get some more of these, but. Um, at this point, I think we're just going to keep going with the T4 basics and mm, I think we'll do 700 glory. Um, I think we'll do 4,500. Oh, that's perfect. That forms me of another catalyst. So look at the benefit guys of just being, uh, getting those rewards. So we formed another one. So, um, when it comes to rank up materials in AQ, everybody knows that that's the source of really getting those big juicy uh, rewards to take up these champions to rank five, uh, rank two, rank three when it comes to the six stars. But again, guys, I don't know. What do you guys think? Those are my thoughts. Um, look at that champion, guys, number three. Actually, let's take a look. Let's. Uh, I'll do another video actually for that. But those are my thoughts when it comes to AQ week, guys. We took, again, number three spot when it comes to the competitive, oops, not there, the AQ competitive side of things. Uh, there's no rank up again on this video, um, and it's because, we're, I guess you saw right now, we're very low on rank up materials because we've been ranking up champions like crazy. But guys, yeah, those are my thoughts. This is why we're number three this week. Uh, of course, um, you know, we have to push the prestige uh, to kind of beat Asgard or just beat any of these alliances. This is a new alliance, new uh, NE, I guess it's called. Um, but when it comes to the top 10, it's pretty consistent. Some of the same alliances, uh, 
that we see here. So congratulations to the Agent White and ASR for also getting in that top five. You know, and that puts a perspective, you know, that puts um, puts fire, let's just say, under ASR saying, hey, you know what, we're really not in top five. Um, let's do some rank ups because, you know, if Asgard comes back next week, then, you know, we need to we need to step it up. So, again, prestige is money based at the moment when it comes to the game. I got another video that I've been thinking about when it comes to a couple of thoughts for the game uh, to better the game or just maybe a different point of view. Uh, when it comes to like crystals, RNG, um, I'm going to be working on that in the next couple of days. Um, and this is kind of like, uh, I know I've, I've done streams when it comes to like the last few days because we're on the uh, Red Guardian grind. Speaking of which, guys, let's uh, um, take a look. I lost my streak. <laughs> we're working it up. Uh, but uh, we talked about the boycott in those rooms, so I wanted to kind of this is my first video of talking about the boycott when it comes to like some one of the alliances that that's out there doing. So, you know, I want I want them back basically, even though they take one of my uh, one of the spots in the top five. I want them back. I want them playing the game. I want them being competitive, um, but I also want their voice to be heard, uh, if that's fair. Uh, when it comes to you know what they want to do, what they want, the changes they want. So I'll definitely I uh, think another video on the actual boycott of the game. Um, I'll do one uh, myself. Uh, I got some ideas. Uh, I want to share that with with everybody on YouTube, and just maybe Kabam sees it. Maybe that helps. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching this AQ week opening. A little bit talks about the boycott, what Asgard's doing, um, and uh, yeah, just watch me shop in the glory store. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, hopefully, we can get our streak back when it comes to the <laughs> Red Guardian. Sad, sad times. Uh, but I'll see you guys, guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days.